vegetable police here. Suspect in question today, Mark Hunt. No longer vegan. Uh, I'm on it. Mark Hunt. Thousand dollar fine and a 30 day juice fast. Go fuck yourself. So our buddy Mark Hunt went vegan a little while ago. He watched an animal cruelty video and he was like, you know what? I cannot participate in that any longer. So the world rejoiced. It, it rejoiced. Then a couple months later, he did a little interview saying he'll go vegan after his career's done. Apparently he doesn't want to benefit from all the benefits of a vegan benefit diet. He believes a vegan diet would hinder his performance. So I can only assume that he also believes that Santa Claus gave birth to Mary fucking Poppins and some puppies. He probably should have researched the vegan diet a little bit because some of the top athletes in the world are switching to vegan diets and then reporting absolute gains in all fields. Better performance, better recovery. David Hay, heavyweight boxer knocking bitches out. I ain't gonna run down the list of vegan athletes. It's too goddamn long. It's longer than a, a lineup at, at, a, at a Justin Bieber cook-off. Go fuck yourself. Point is, you could be improving your stamina right now and your sexual performance but you hired this goon. So I think that contributes to you know, no injuries too because he's always on his game at training. That was Mark Hunt's nutritionist, barbecuing up some pork. Something easy, uh, easy for, for the guys. Yeah, I mean, Just meat and vegetables, uh, uh, keep it simple. Go dunk yourself in lava, pork. Here, Mark Hunt, how about you eat nothing but meat and vegetables? There you go. Hopefully your bowels enjoy the break of not having to poo for two fucking weeks. You might as well just eat crayons wrapped in saran wrap. This actually does bring up a problem in the UFC and that's the weigh-ins. These athletes are cutting so much weight they dehydrate themselves. Some people lose like 25 pounds of water and then rehydrate to gain the weight advantage. But their opponents doing the same thing these guys fucking weigh the same in the ring, so they torture each other. Why? We gotta cut that shit out. The worst thing about the weigh-ins, in my opinion, is these athletes go on the low-carb diet to deplete their body of glycogen. They know by science, god damn you science, that one gram of carbs holds on to three grams of water, so if you deplete all your muscles of glycogen, that's quite a bit of weight. So you can lose all that water and then carb the fuck up for a day and gain it back. But while these meat boys are eating meat-based diets, disease is ravaging their body. Look at what happened to Brock Lesnar. Guy used to hunt deer and eat almost nothing but deer meat, developed diverticulitis. We're not cats. Nobody's dangling yarn in front of your face. Get off your goddamn litter box and eat some kale or something. These athletes could be doing the same thing on a plant-based diet. You just have the nuts and seeds and vegetables, that's very low in sugar. At least the hemp seeds have some antioxidants and fiber, help you release some of that disaster you got going on in your colon. So Mark Hunt's fighting Brock Lesnar UFC 200 this weekend. I'm excited for the fight, but now that Mark's not vegan, I mean, I just hope Brock eats his babies after. See how you like it. I mean, it was so inspiring when Mark Hunt went vegan. It was like, damn, that guy's unstoppable now. Who's gonna beat vegan Hunt? Nobody, that's impossible. But now he's just a meat boy, blending into the meat pack. Where's fucking Waldo? Anyways, I'm still excited to see the fight. I'm just trolling you meat bitches cause it's so fun. I'm actually leaning towards Mark knocking Brock out. 
That sounds weird. Mark Knock and Brock. Sounds like a fucking law firm. I mean, now that John Jones isn't fighting, I'm shattered. That shattered my life. I barely want to go on. I don't, I'm gonna have to pick up the pieces, piece myself together. I barely want to do it. But life goes on. What can we do? So I think we're done here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you're a cat. I get it. You can support me by buying a Vegetable Police t-shirt, but this is the Chief shirt. This is the gold version. And it's, it's pretty illegal. It's got the YouTube logo in the middle. But come at me, YouTube, what? Alright, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. The, the show's over.